Hey, it's Kiana Thompson, owner of Holistic Harmony, Mind, Body, and Soul, a solution-focused therapy agency with 100% satisfaction and building quality, passionate relationships. And it's time for your monthlies. Woo! So exciting. I'm tired, y'all. I'm tired, but we're going to get this last three out for today. We're going to see who this is. <coughs> Who's popping today? Taurus. I was just talking about Taurus. Um, just saying that they are a Scorpio's match, right? And but I don't attract a lot of Scorpios. I literally was just talking about you guys, and lo and behold, Taurus is up. Taurus, you guys are earth signs. You're fixed, you're ruled by Venus. If your birthday is between 420 and 520, you could, you know, these messages could resonate with you. Or if you have permanent, uh, prominent placements, <laughs> they're all permanent, prominent placements, moon, ascendant, um, Venus, Jupiter could relate as well. You are normally very reliable. <clears throat> you can be a little possessive. You're very romantic, Taurus. Oh, why don't I attract you guys? I love romance. Um, but you don't like sudden changes. So we're going to set up your space to get your cards popping. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Definitely got to have some love since you guys are love. Although you're... <clears throat> What's going on with your um throat chakra? Hold on. I didn't realize I still had this on. <clears throat> I haven't had no like choke anything, none of the readings I've done today. You guys <coughs> coming in strong with this throat chakra. Uh, but I'm going to use the peacock or happiness and uh, psychic abilities. Of course, the moon water. And that's all I'm feeling for you right now. Not even a ground, grounded rock. You guys are pretty grounded. It's probably why you don't need the grounded rock. You probably need more intuition. But yeah, check your throat chakra. Drink you some tea. Get you some hot water. Okay. Get us some smoke. We can get into these messages. Weird. Little tiny red. There we go. Okay. There we go. And you guys can see the smoke. I know too my allergies was bothering me, and that's kind of what it feels like right now. I feel it doesn't feel like a stick, it feels like more of an allergy. So make sure you're doing things to take care of your throat chakra and checking, uh, making sure you're doing things to release mucus up out of your sinuses. Okay, okay. I don't know who that's for, but that's what's out there. We're gonna get into your shuffle. Let me spray. This is our Divine Love Kit Moon Water and our Love Oil. We've got to have Love Oil for Taurus, right? You guys are the romantics. Mm, I want a little bit like this because I, like, I feel like this little space here is like romantic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I feel like you guys have got me like feeling super romantic. Mm, yes, Love Oil Love. Oh my mind. Okay, Taurus. This is a general read. I am an intuitive reader. What comes up is what comes out. Um, love may come, money may come, both may come, self-healing, self-work. Whatever comes up comes out. Okay. This is going to be great. You're gonna be having a very transformative month. You're gonna be coming into some um 
pentacles look like some leadership position lots of recent meditation going on for you lots of ships coming in lots of expectancy lots of good things happening on the horizon lots of give and take community you know you're not just giving 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 towards you're going to be receiving as well but lots of changes and i know you don't like sudden changes <laughs> so brace yourself because you're going to have some sudden changes um coming some ending some cycles ending some direct cuts yay to bring you more stability and more love yes so things that are happening are for your greater good they're for the love they're for the love and abundance i feel like with you taurus like um home family wealth is very important to you and so you're winning you're going to get a victory in the way you communicate <clears throat> you're going to be running your empire for you could be getting some type of like if you are a, like a boss already um you could be getting a raise or um a promotion that's what it's called promotion you could be getting a promotion but you're going to be getting attention and the necessary accolades that you deserve Hey Taurus, I see you sexy. I see you sexy and coming into your um, you know, your divineness, however that looks. Because you've been sad and going through some things and brought through some challenges that you just didn't know which way to go. But you're gonna know, you're gonna choose love, you're gonna your soulmate's gonna help you. Yeah, moving fast, moving fast to the good stuff. Come on, Taurus. You got some fire coming too. Yeah. All right. I wonder if the fire is a third person because I'm seeing a lot of grief. We're going to get into it. I don't know what that is about. Mm. You could be taking a trip towards or needing to take a break, take a trip, relax, move. You could be needing to move out of your space. Definitely letting go of attachment right now. Walk away from things that don't serve you, people, places, and things. Coming outside of your comfort zone. Yeah, that's why you're being shook up, Tori. That's why you're having all those changes. You're having all these changes and drastic changes so that you can get shook up out of your comfort zone because in the end, you're winning. Right? But you can't win if you're stuck. Right? If you won't even run the race, you can't win. You're going to have people in place caring, loving you um, to help you through anything that's going on, even financial difficulties. You're going to be getting more balance inside of your finances. Yep, I feel like you're going to be moving. Definitely moving or taking a trip. So I'm using the energy of Oracle Animal Tarot, Kiana said deck, and then I'll pull your Oracle at the end, okay? Um, my clarifying deck is the Urban Intellectuals um, card playing card deck. All right, I want to get in here for a second. Oh, wow. Okay. I definitely saw um, red, <laughs> which that's how Taurus is usually normally. See, me and my friend were just talking about that. Taurus is just see red all the time. He always mad. But then I saw it like lightening up to orange. So you're like mellowing out, Taurus. You are coming outside of that just anger all the time. But you're only a step away from it, right? Like, don't piss you off. But you are coming into some um, higher energies. Thank you, Divine, for this word for Taurus. Can you please give me some messages? Thank you. Oh, wow. Yep, that's what I was going to say. Red is the root chakra. <laughs> and that's just came out for you guys. Damn, you're definitely moving. 
I saw this card twice in the shuffle and it just flew out or taking a trip or something. <clears throat> Whoa. Taurus, this is super interesting. Oh. Taurus, this is deep. This is deep. This is deep. This is rough. And this is probably why you need the grounding rock because you're all over them. Not all over the place. It's got a lot going on. And you already stuck. Okay. You already stuck. They want you to, again, create, yeah, the psychic abilities and the magic. Let me get your camera card. So I'm, they're giving me messages. I want to focus. Okay. Got two cards that came out. Whoa. You're definitely moving. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I feel like you are definitely on the move, Taurus. Um, a wanting to move. You're moving, but we're going to get to that in a minute. You having some issues that are, that is coming up, which I saw. Some cycles are ending. Um, You're getting a new way to communicate. But you are creating the storm. I feel like you're 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 the magician. You're the magician in the mirror. I want to see if this is you or someone else. I feel like it's you. I feel like you're creating the storm, Taurus. I feel like you just like you created, you can let it go. You can release it. Magician. Yeah. Oh Lord, have mercy. What the Taurus, you are so, <laughs> okay, I'm just going to do it, let's just see, okay, it's a lot going on, you are arguing and fighting and feeling like you left out, you could even have gotten put out by uh, either your person or something, you could have lost your house or something like that, but I feel like you're fighting for something. Okay, I feel like this is two ways. I feel like this is two ways. Either you and your person are literally fighting for your home together or you're fighting against each other for the home. Like one of you put each other out or something like that. Or you could be fighting for your home, me and someone trying to take it. Or you could be, you know, the bank or something like that. Yeah, I feel like I feel like the home right now or at a point is not happy. But I feel like you're behind it. I feel like you're creating. I feel towards it feels like you are just kicking up and blowing so much dust and wind. Um and I definitely see like movement, like you needing to move or you know, move out. Damn, Taurus. But this is the thing that I'm seeing too. I see like like I said, just like you create it, you can release it. You have to get outside of your ego, Taurus. And that's when I kind of saw like that red coming down to the orange. You have to get outside of your ego so that you can calm down enough that you can step outside of your ego, realize that you're not put out, that you're not alone, that you're that you're fine. I feel like you're gonna get a message coming in. You want to send a message, you want to I feel like for your person, I feel like you want to send a message, Taurus. I feel like it's you. Um, that's coming in fast. Needing to come in fast with messages of endearment and love. And you could, you guys could be going back and forth. Like you could be moved out and now you're communicating again, texting again, you know, <laughs> telling each other you love each other. But there was a lot of manipulation going on in the beginning during this storm process. A lot of ego stuff, a lot of. You know, I feel like with the manipulation and control, someone was trying to control you or you were trying to control someone and that's never going to work for a Taurus, right? 
Like a bull rider literally has to be able to hold on for eight seconds. And they'll say that's the longest eight seconds of their life, right? Because you cannot control a bull. Taurus, no one can control you. And so you guys get into ego, you get into fights, lots of nasty sharp words were said. I'm hearing like, get the F out. But then you're going to send a message or receive a message. You guys are going to be messaging back and forth. Um, and this is, this is about home. This is definitely about home. Definitely about your person. Um, or you could be receiving information saying that, you know, the house is good. You're good. <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's going to work out. It's definitely going to work out in the end, but it's just, it's just the process that you have to go through. It's a lesson for you to get outside of your pride, outside of your ego, outside of your stubbornness. You don't like sudden changes, but you're going through a lot of change. You have a lot of fires out here. You're going through a lot of change towards drastic changes at that, but you're going to work it all out and you want to work on it. So it's like the thing, like, that's why I feel like it's you that need to send a message. I feel like you could be already out of your home with your person. If this is romantic. And you want to work it out. You just in your feelings. You mad. You saying mean things. They said mean things. But now you want to apologize. And you want to make it right. And y'all both do. Y'all both. You're soulmates. You're twin flames. You're some type of like super connected um, souls together. And you have a family. You could have kids already. Like married. Or just in some type of deep commitment. So that's going to work out, but you just have to get outside of your ego. You might be the one to make the first step. Like I said, there was some manipulation and control here, but on the other side of manipulation and control is manifestation. So what is you want to create, right? You want to keep up, you want to keep up the storm. That's the manipulation and control. You want to release the storm. That's the creation and, and uh, manifestation. So you get to decide how that looks. You get to... You get to apologize. You get to accept an apology. I feel like you're so hurt and so mad right now. You're like, nope, nope, and nope. Um, Gemini energy so far, Taurus. Water, lots of water here. Capricorn. Water is Scorpio, Pisces, or uh, Cancer. Yeah. You being offered something that you don't want. Let me see. What's this thing you want? This could be um your personal or this could be at work or this could even be you. I don't know. Let's see. Oh my gosh. Where is this going? Oh, this is definitely romantic. <laughs> I feel like this is a different person though. Now you got fire in here. Well, you had fire before, actually. Um, Leo Sag, Aries, Taurus. Um, they're offering you something you don't know if you want it. I feel like the universe is telling you to to sleep on it, to rest on it, to meditate on it, to think about it, to think deeply about this offer because um you have to make the you have to be the one to make the choice, but the universe is asking you to have faith to step out on faith, to take a leap of faith, to start something new. So after the storm comes a rest period for you. So, like, you know, the energy that's coming in is very charismatic, very um, loving. This could be you. This could be what you're offering too. This could be you after you after the storm, after the rest period, right? You get yourself together. You're not seeing red, you're seeing orange. So now you're coming off as very charismatic, very loving, very in control, very self-confident, and you're ready to start this new thing, and you want to rush in fast. I feel like you want to go back and apologize, but you're worried if they're going to accept the apology. Okay, there we go. You're worried about that. So you might not want to do it. Like, even I said over here, the correspondence, like, you love this person, but I feel like you are scared to, um, you know, not, not scared, but, you know, fearful and anxious. You know, uh, what is it? Uh, rejection. You feel like the person is going to reject you. 
that they'll have their guard up because of whatever whatever words that were said between you two. They were very sharp. So you come into a, a challenging, a challenging time. But listen, if you go ahead and give and be open to receiving, build a community, family is very important. Like I said, it's important to you. These are these people are your family. So you know, um, open the lines of communication because if you do that, you, the message is going to be coming in. They can be coming in from you to you or from you. I also feel like the universe is saying you should block somebody so you can't get the communication. So you got to unblock your people. This could even be a kid that you block. I do see, uh, you know, uh, when I see sometimes a night to me reminds me of a young, a young child not young child like a young adult i'm trying to say young adult but you need to sleep on it because you're seeing red you're not seeing you know everything that's you just see red but these changes are happening for a reason you don't see your part in this but you play a big part because like i said you're coming up as a magician um so you play a big part in creating all of this and this is your family. I feel like it's multiple people. This is your family. Especially if you moved out, right? You could be missing home. But to you know, to, you know, you're you're being challenged by this and you have to make a decision, make a choice. And the choice is for the communication to come in to let the um repair start to happen because you're going to be, you know, more independent, more confident, more um more successful your wishes are being fulfilled but you still feel left out you you're having a lot of mixed feelings like you're you're i thought you want to go home i just want to go home baby it's cold outside you just want to go home you're like that's your wish your wish is to be home taurus just freaking go home. Stop. Unblock them. Maybe they got you blocked. Universe, un let, unblock them. Yep. You just want to go home. You just want to go take a leap of faith, travel back to your home. Like I said, you could have moved out. Maybe I thought you were moving, but I feel like you moved out. You're not home. Or if you're home, you're not in the same room type of thing. Like It's, it's some type of disconnection with moving and you feel definitely left out and you want to yep you feel like guards are up fighting you're not sleeping you're worried you're feeling anxious you feel like your your person has options or you could have options so it's a lot of masculine energy um coming up here you're showing up oh i like it i was just saying scorpios um, and, and Taurus are, are, are attractive. And this is what I'm seeing right here. Taurus and Scorpio, both in the masculine energy though. This can be same sex. Does not have to be. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just saying it's two of the same energies. Or it could just be two masculine energy. Even, even, um, your person, you and your person are both masculine. One could be woman, one could be man. Gender doesn't matter. It's just the energy that's coming forth. So you both are in your stately sales your higher sales and you're not wanting to give that's what i'm getting you're not wanting to give y'all both are battling two kings at war yeah no one wants to offer be the first to um offer the apology you guys had like a stalemate is that what it's called <laughs> But you're both tired and you want to lay down your burdens. You got to freaking talk. You got to freaking communicate. And I feel like because it's coming up in your reading, <laughs> you're the one. You got to freaking communicate. You got to reconcile. This is your person. Walk away from things that don't serve you. Listen, listen. Your wish is to go home. To be home with your family. You, you For whatever reason, you guys had this big storm, blowout, whatever. Home is not right. But you want it to be right. 
and you have the power to make it right. It's a lot of water here. A lot of fire, too. You get all the elements, even air. You have to, you're starting a new thing. You want to go home. You want to travel back home. You want to move back home. You want to move back to your person, to your family. You want to be happy and, and whole. This person makes you whole. But you're guarded and you worry about that they are too. You're both feeling the same way. You're guarded, they're guarded. You can't sleep, they can't sleep. When you're, you know, feeling anxious, they're feeling anxious. It's the same energy. You showing up in your ego. They're showing up in their ego. Nobody's offering an apology. Nobody's wanting to communicate. You're like, I don't want nothing. I don't want to hear it. They're like, I don't want to hear nothing you got to say. I don't want to do it. But the thing is, you both do want to do it. You're both tired. You both feel like you've put in a lot of work and you're both tired. <sighs> but nobody wants to communicate. But that's where you're going. You're going from, you're going from, I'm tired of working this thing out. So we need to talk because I'm tired. You're going, you're going, you're going to talk. Somebody's going to something. If it's not you or the person, some type of correspondence is coming. It's going to make you guys talk. And I feel like that's when the reconciliation is going to happen. When you're going to realize that, you know, this is, you already know this is your person. This is your freaking person. You already know it. <laughs> you already know it. You both have to walk away from things that don't serve you. Let go of a lot of stuff. It doesn't serve you no more. It doesn't serve either one of you. So you both have to do a lot of purging. Physically, mentally, and spiritually, especially in this house. Like, you probably, if you moved out, you probably packed a lot of stuff and realized that you had a lot of crap. That's always happened when you move. <laughs> you realize um, that you just have a lot of stuff. My friend said, this is when you realize you are you a hoarder when you, when you move. Because you just have so much stuff. Like, what is this? So, you probably realize that. But you got purging. Purging of old behaviors. Purging of old hurts from the storm. Because you really do, your wishes really are being fulfilled. And you really do feel like this, this love is strong. Like, this is your family. This is your, you know, your 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 kids. Because y'all got to have kids together, be married, be whatever. And um, this Nine of Cups is coming in strong. You don't want to be, you want to be home. You want to be with your person. You want a new way of communicating. You want to cut through the BS. The only way to, to start a new way of communicating um, is to communicate. <laughs> So you guys got to get outside of the ego. You guys are the stalemate right now. No one's offering up anything. But you love each other so much. That's that stubbornness, Taurus. Like, you guys are stubborn. You're going to get down to the basics. Again, you got water here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And your, your wrist chakra needs to be strengthened. And that's what is... Because you want to be home. Rich Chakra is all about stability, home, security, finances. You're not even writing your finances because you're not home. You need to go home. And there's a lot of opportunities coming your way once you get grounded inside of yourself and secure. A lot of, I feel like, financial um, opportunities. Like I said, I even see, like, a promotion. And if this is you guys fighting together for your home, because like I said, of like foreclosure or something like that, or the bank, you know, trying to take your home back, you're going to get correspondence about that as well. I feel like that's very for a select few. I don't feel like that's an overall message, but I do feel like that's for somebody that if you are trying to, you know, save your home, maybe you're out of work and now you're getting a job because I did see promotion and recognition. So you could be getting a job. You could be having job interviews. You get more stable in your finances. You're getting called up to a higher position, more money. And you're being very, um, I feel like you, your person is, is being very nurturing and very loving towards you. Like, they're waiting for you to come home, too. I feel like they want you to come home, too. They, maybe they haven't admitted it, but they do. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my God, they might as well just say, come home. Like, quit playing. They want you to take a leap of faith. You're hurting, they're hurting. Could be a third person involved. Oh yeah, these queens are fighting. But that's over with. Yeah, Queen of Cups again. Queen of Cups is not playing. I feel like the Queen of I feel like this the same person. I just think this I think this I don't think even though this three of swords hit his heartbreak, I don't I think for us again a small few it could be a third person. You'll know if that if that resonates. But I feel like this oh okay, thank you. Not a third person like cheating, but another person in your family. So it could be a kid, it could be a parent, it could be a sister, it could be a friend, it could be whatever. You have another person, which I saw, like I said, it could have been kids, right? You have another person here. So you have a third party situation here. I don't feel like it's a romantic third party. I do feel like it's still family. That's a part of this process, this pain, this hurt. I don't feel like it's it's not coming as um it's coming as family and they're literally the ten of cups is in between them like it's literally coming out as family working together loving together figuring this thing out this could be the opportunity when the opportunity that's coming your way um could be from someone you know and their nepotism is real right you can call you like you know a uh, brother um <laughs> or a sister i got this job and my job and you need to come over here hiring something like that yeah because it's it's about stability and it's about happiness um celebration so yeah you could be going to interviews you could be going out celebrating with your family um for your promotion like you know oh i got promoted oh i got a new job and you guys go on and celebrate because you're being called to something higher but i feel like it's you know it has to do with home for you and i said in the beginning of this home and and, and, and money is what a tourist loves so you're going to be going home towards, okay? Yes, and it's Capricorn energy here. What's this devil about? I feel like it was just some toxic stuff that you had to move away from. Yeah, just some toxicity, self-sabotage, some things you needed to work out. So that you could get the gifts that are coming your way. You definitely needed to work on some things. You were probably doing a lot of drinking, uh, drugs, sex, whatever. I feel like whatever caused the storm was you. Was you I'm telling you, <laughs> Taurus, you're the, you're, listen. I know the crosswatch is like, yes. Because <laughs> it's you, Taurus. It's not your person. You, you know, I feel like you showed your whole behind, your whole arts. Okay, boy, you showed it. Um, and that's what caused you to have to move. But that's a part of your journey and it's okay. You gotta, you had to make a choice. And I feel like you made it. I feel like now you've made the choice. You want to go home. You want to be with your family. The Your family and your, your, your money is more important to you than any bad habit that you could have. So you're willing to do the work to break it. You're willing to do the, the work to get your universal gifts, to have a windfall of money, um, to have your family, to make the romantic justice, to have more stability, to celebrate your love with your family, with your person. You're invested in this thing and it's, it's going to be really good now. When you move back, it's going to be good. You, you're, you're doing some soul work. Like I said, you have some self-sabotaging stuff. But you're doing some soul work. And you're getting into balance. The work is causing you to get into balance with yourself. Because as you let go of toxic behaviors and toxicity, then you get into balance and align with who you are as a person, who you are as, you know, a divine being. Yay! 
yeah, you're going to get new opportunities that you're going to love. You're going to get offers that you love. Your home is being offered back to you. Your job is being offered back to you. Your, you know, your person is coming back in. And you're being balanced in all of who you are and what you do. And you're going to feel um, very aligned and feel like you can handle it. Yes, your Queen of Cups is back and she accepts your offer. Yay! I'm so happy. I feel like she accepts your offer. I'm saying she because it's a queen, but it could be a uh, man. Ten of Cups. You walked away. You left. You... You know, shows your whole behind. You probably was drinking or drugging or something, you know, and you know, <clears throat> cause a storm, cause all this, whatever. But it's going to work out. You think it's not, it is. They might not accept your offer right now, but they will when you get your act together. When you, sh when you show them that you're no longer, you know, the devil, when you show them you're no longer, um, hiding your shadow self, you are doing the work. Walking away from things that don't serve you, getting in balance, being being in communication, being honest with your feelings. Like, hey, I want to come home. I love you. I want to be with you. I miss my family. I'm going to be more stable. I'm going to celebrate our love. I'm going to renew our vows. You know, reconcile. I'm sorry. Say you're freaking sorry. Be romantic, Taurus. You're the romantic. You're the romancer. Okay, that was a lot, and I am going to get you a magic card because that's what magical times. I don't know what that's about, but I'm just gonna go with it. You are so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Yeah. <laughs> what I tell you? I'm taking both of them just because. And then we got the Queen of Cups. So your first card you got out of the Magical Times is Gentleness. That's why it was funny because I was talking about this bull and it had, yeah, y'all cannot be controlled. However, you can be gentle. Gentleness. Strength is gentle. True kindness has wings. Love in action endures. Oh, what did I just say? When they see you doing it, when they see you doing, being loving, being gentle, saying what needs to be said, is they're going to, what can they do? But they're going to be, they love you manifestation the other side of manipulation you created this you can recreate whatever it is you want your dreams have untold energy open the door and let them live desire and belief are your power manifest what you want your kiana card it's time to purge again out with the old and in with the new I lovingly release what no longer serves me. The second card that fell out from the Kiana said that the old you doesn't have the capacity to hold your new spiritual development. Your old container was too small and broken. When I tell you that's a perfect way to end your reading because I'm telling you, whatever what's going on with you with the self-sabotage with any addictions that's that's done it's over with you you've done the soul work you are a new person you're not the same person that you was when you moved out you're something different something better so you get to you know trust that believe that be gentle and like i said you got some cleaning up to do still some more purges to clean up your clean up your your space get rid of stuff that don't serve you and your physical space and your mental space and your spiritual space all right, Taurus, that is your read. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you like, comment, 
um, and subscribe to the channel that helps support us here. Um, um, anything that you need is going to be in the description box to get in contact with me. If you want to just email me um, or to get more information, follow my Facebook page, get a, get a private read, join my private coaching group, any, any and everything. Get a Divine Love Kit, get a Kiana Set card deck. You can do all of that, okay? All right, y'all. Have a great month of September. Peace out.